YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, it's your main man, Wing Draws Back, and if another. Super official. Food review can't take a minute, I can't. Hey, listen, man. Alright, we're back with another quarantine snack drops here. Um, and this time we're going to compare two Japanese snacks, right? Um, on the left right here, we have the Calbi Pizza, Melty Cheese Pizza Potato Chips. Man, look at that packaging. Look at that pizza. It's got the pepperoni on it. Looks like it's got some herbs, maybe. I don't know what that is. What, basil, oregano? I don't know. And look at the chip itself. It looks like a Ruffles has ridges type of chip, right? And look at that. It still has that green... I still don't know what that is. Oregano, maybe? Yeah, it's got that, that those herbs on it. But yeah, this is from Calbi. Shout out to my boy Ryu, aka Ryunosuke Tezuki from uh, high school days. Um, that dude, my dog... Uh, we used to hang out in uh, high school. Uh, we would eat lunch together. He would literally eat Calbi shrimp chips with every single meal. So that's why I'm shouting out Calbi. Um, and my friend was actually addicted to those. But yeah, uh, we're going to try these. I do apologize. They have already been opened. I mean, me and my family we mostly share snacks together, especially if we go to the grocery store together. Right? So this has been opened. So, But I can assure you that it is the uh, genuine bona fide real deal inside right and on the right i don't know if this is a really fair comparison but it's like two japanese snacks i happen to find in my pantry right we have the japanese rice cracker the himemaru himemaru shout out to all the himes and all the marus okay I, so i don't know what i was doing there but i do know what what it's like maru is like an ending for a name right because you got like orochi maru taro maru you know Shout out to Taramaru. Um, but yeah, got this rice cracker here. Um, it's going to be a tough battle, right? Because I like potato chips a lot more than rice crackers, usually. But I haven't, I don't think I've ever tried this specific type of rice cracker or this brand either. This is the Amanoya brand. And. The only reason I just decided to uh, put these two together, one, is because they're both Japanese snacks, and two, because this color scheme almost looked Italian. It's not Italian, right? Because it's missing the white. It has black instead of white, but it has the green and red, right? So, mamma mia. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. This one's already been opened, but I'm going to get some chips out, and we'll be back when the food is ready to review. All right, guys, welcome back. And I have procured a couple of the respective snack from outside of their bag, and we are ready to get right into it. All right, so uh, first things first, let's start with the Calbee pizza potato chips on this side. Let's take a look at it. I was promised, wait, let me focus, please. Can it? It's kind of... Uh, yeah, I think... It, Jeez. Okay. Honestly, yeah, that one's probably better. But as I was gonna say, I was promised some green specs on these um, chips, and even some maybe like some cheese on it. Uh, just look at that one, right? Look at those spots of melted cheese on it, and look at those green herbs. And we did not get it in the finished product. That looks from far away, it looks like it might be an herb, but it's just the burned part of the chip. So that, or like the black part of the spud. I don't know, man, that's not it. That's not it, man. False advertisement, Calbee, what you doing? Okay, in all seriousness, let's just try it. It's not never gonna look exactly like the picture, right? But let's see if it actually tastes like pizza, right? And what, what the flavors we're looking for are cheese, pepperoni, and tomato sauce, right? And perhaps a little bit of oregano. Or should I say oregano? Wait a second. I should have been saying it like that all this whole time. What am I doing? Shout to grandpa and shout to Josh. So yeah, let's get into it. I don't know what to say about these. They're not that great. They don't really taste like pizza, man. The only thing I can taste is cheese. And it's not even that strong of a flavor of cheese. Man. 
the one thing I will commend about it, but it's not, you know, a big thing is the structural or just the design of them. They are the ruffle style chips with ridges, and that's my favorite time chip. Sorry, kettle corn chips. But yeah, I love the ridge part of the chip, but you know, there's a lot of other chips that have this. So what we're really looking for is the flavor, right? And the flavor is really disappointing. It doesn't taste like pepperoni. Not that I was like, I was kind of hoping it would, but I wasn't holding out hope, right? It doesn't really taste like tomato either though, right? It's just a very, very weak cheese flavor. It's not even as strong as like the cheddar flavored ruffles or lays or whatever, you know, like your typical cheese flavored chips. Not even as strong as Cheetos, crunchy Cheetos, Cheetos puffs. Man, it's, it's such a weak flavor and it's not, oh man. I mean, it's not bad, but it, it doesn't taste like pizza. It just kind of tastes like cheese, but it's not a super strong taste, right? Oh, I was a little bit disappointed by this one. I'm gonna have to give these Calbee chips, pizza flavored potato chips. I'll give it a, a three piece, a straight three out of five. Not the greatest uh, chip I've ever had. And frankly, it ranks below most um, Western chips. The only one that I would say uh, confidently that's worse than this is um, salt and vinegar flavored. But I know a lot of people like those salt and vinegar flavored ones, but it's not for me. But yeah, three out of five, not that great. And we're, I was hoping this would be a standout, but this might actually be a closer battle than we predicted. So let's try this uh, Japanese rice cracker here. Um, first thought when I looked at it is that it looks like those, you know those like frozen mini hash brown patties? That's why these look real nappy, man. Look, Can you imagine it? It kind of looks like them, right? Like when you get go to a, some breakfast, some fast food places have it. I'm forgetting which ones, but they'll get, instead of giving you um, fries for breakfast, they'll give you hash browns, right? There's different ways to do it. Like McDonald's, they give you a whole hash brown patty. Um, and I think it was a Chick-fil-A or I forgot where. Was it Burger King? Was it Sonic? I don't remember. But one place would give you these hash brown, I don't know what you call these, mini patties? But yeah, th these look exactly like those. And you know the sh they, those come straight from the freezer. So already, they're, the appearance of these are intriguing. But... Let's just taste it for flavor, shall we? Now I'm just gonna grab this mini hash brown right here. Let's get into it. Okay. It's a very, very standard rice cracker. In a sense, it tastes like this brand that I had a lot as a kid. I'm forgetting what it's called. I'll try to link it up here. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but it's a Chinese brand. And the mascot's like this kid. I think it's called like Hot Kid or Hot Boy or something. But it tastes a lot like those. And have you ever had those rice crackers that come in individual packets, but, and they come in two packs, they're, they, and they look like they're frosted? These taste a lot like those, but these are, in a sense, I, I don't know what to say. I will guess I could just say spicier, They're not really spicy, but, but in the sense that they pack a punch or pack a kick, have a kick to them, but it has more, how should I say, like herbal, not really herbal, but like a spicier flavor. I just don't know how to describe it, man. It's not salty, so to speak, but they're flavorful. That's all I'll say. Perhaps even more flavorful than these disappointing pizza chips, actually. The design, you know, it depend, really depends on if you like rice crackers, right? Rice crackers, when you, you go into your mouth, they're crunchy, but they're also like pasty. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but when you chew on it, right? It's kind of pasty in the sense that it will disintegrate in your mouth. And it's kind of thick in that sense. I don't know how to describe it, but if you've ever had a rice cracker, you know what I mean. But these, in, 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 in in uh as far as rice crackers go these are solid which makes this food fight really hard to judge right this snack battle snack pass i don't know what you call these series still but i'm gonna have to give the slight edge to it's a tough one man i'm gonna have to slightly give it to calbee right here 
So for this one, this Japanese rice cracker, I'll give it a two and a half out of five, to be honest. It's mainly the fact that I'm not a huge fan of rice crackers. It's a good rice cracker for sure. One of the better ones I've had, um, very similar to Hot Boy or whatever the brand's called. But the fact that this has ridges makes already makes it like a decent snack for me. These are not bad either, but um, when it comes to Japanese snacks, I think you could do better than a rice cracker, unless you're a big fan, but like, I'll just have another one. It's all right. It's got a decent amount of flavor in it, but not my favorite thing in the world. So I'll give these a two and a half out of five. Kalbi is a three. These are both not the greatest Japanese snacks. I would not recommend either of them if you're going into the store um, and trying to pick out some Asian flavored snacks. But yeah, this has um, been your main man, Wing Drops, with another snack review. Um, I don't know if I'll upload this. I'll probably upload this just because there's no content. I don't have any content. But yeah, a slightly disappointing battle, but a battle nonetheless. It's been your main man, Wing Drops, and we're done here. This video is sponsored by Blue Apron. I know we're in a wrestling, but it's still sponsored by Blue Apron. That's all. <laughs> Don't forget with Blue Apron, you get ready to cook meals all portioned out to your door. Use the code WINGDROPS for 20% off on your next purchase of Blue Apron. And your boy WINGDROPS at Rory 4, and we're done here. Bide your time and hold out hope.